Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my goodness, I am so glad to be back. Happy to see you guys coming in here. Thank you so much. I'm going to get my, oops, yeah, okay, my ads are playing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Hi, Gwen from Hawaii, Holly, Trish, Luann. Everybody is popping in. I see a bunch of people on here before I got here. Bless your hearts. I am glad to be back. I'm glad to be back with my people, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a couple weeks, right? <laughs> Yeah, when it rains, it pours here in Benasha, Wisconsin. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys so much. So, there's been a lot going on here. Um, most of it hasn't been good. You guys, most of you know that. For those of you that are not aware, um, I went on my incentive trip to Norway. That's the Stampin' Up! trip that we can earn through um, some really hard work and I have to say a disclaimer that less than 1% of the demonstrator body actually earned the trip so it's not something that's easy to do. We were told by our uh, compliance department that we have to mention that and it has something to do with rules in the direct selling association blah 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 so there you have it. Um, my mom says that a lot so there you have it. Yes I'm, I'm, I am channeling my inner mother. <laughs> <laughs> so we went on the cruise and we had great flights, um, almost everything was on time, we got to the ship, everything was great. The first night we had dinner, I caught a little food poisoning. I slept for almost 24 hours. My mom was really concerned about me as mothers will be, but I assured her I was going to be fine. So I missed my... Um, my cupcake making class. I was really looking forward to that because I would love to take a cake decorating series of classes. I think that I would actually love doing that, but I missed it. My mom, Dina Barb, and Barb's and Dina's daughters went to it, and I heard that they were an extraordinarily fun group, that the other people that were in the class were like, oh my gosh, you guys are so fun. <laughs> That's like, I know, right? I had to push my mom out the door to go to it. I'm like, Mom, go have fun. I'll be fine. I'm just going to go back to sleep, which I did a lot of that first day. And um, after that, I was I was all right. My stomach felt icky for most of, you know, a couple days, but it, it was fine. And that was day one. Day two, I think we did some goofing around. That would have been Sunday, Monday. I think when I got up Tuesday morning, this is this is my scenario. I when I when I would get up in the morning, it would actually be like about 6:30 or so in Norway. But um, here in Wisconsin, it is about one in the morning. So I would get up, I would check my Snapchats because I was going to bed a lot earlier than what people were going to bed here. And the only way anybody could get a hold of me was through Snapchat or Facebook messaging. Because we, we did buy an internet package, but it was terrible. And um, Esther, I'm so very sorry. Was that Esther? Queen Esther, yes, Queen Esther. My condolences to, to you on your son. That's really sad. I'm so sorry. Um, so I, I got up, and it was 1 o'clock here, and the first thing I did was open my Snapchat, and I had a message. I had a video from my stepdaughter Stephanie and she was crying and she said I don't know if anybody told you but grandma died and that would be Steve's mom and so I was like oh my good lord you know like <laughs> that's like the worst news right and then as she is finishing telling me that on her video another thing pops across the top of my screen on my phone because my next-door neighbor is sending me a Facebook message and that Facebook message says, your shed is on fire. So I pop away from Stephanie and I go into Facebook Messenger and she sends me a picture. And I said, that's not my shed, that's my garage. And there were just flames shooting out the back of the garage. 
So um, I called her on Facebook Messenger and she said, is Steve home? I said, yes, he should be home. It's one in the morning. And she said, if I call him, will he wake up? I said, no, he won't wake up and you need to go bang on the door. Well, by that time, the um, everybody had called 911 in the neighborhood. There were like 10 calls that came in and um, the fire department police were banging on the front door and he did wake up eventually. But not only did he lose his mom, but he lost everything important to him with the exception of people. So it's been just crazy here. Our, our garage is completely burned. There's like there's nothing left and it was 30 years, 30, 40 years of accumulated life for him in there. Like you guys know that I always say, Steve's out in the garage. Every night before I come on live, I go out in the garage and I chat with him a little bit and, and he gives me a kiss and says, good luck on your show. And tonight it was a little weird because I walked outside and there's no garage to be in. Like there's, you can't be in there. And so we have this little pavilion that's out by the pool and that is where he is kind of hanging out because that was his man cave. So it's been really sad. Um, of course, his mom, the loss of his mother is the worst, right? Um, but second in line would be his garage. Like, you know, the loss of people is always more important, but he lost everything in there, like everything. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for all your well wishes, your words of encouragement, um, the cards that I got. Steve is trying to work through this process. Like now he has to go through and try and list everything that was in the garage so that we can get an insurance claim for it. And it's just so overwhelming because everything was in the garage, like everything. He had so much accumulated over 40 years of tools and treasures and he lost both of his Harley motorcycles and welding machines, multiple welding machines and all the stuff that goes with that and his deer mounts and, and my bear mount and a freezer full of fish and venison that can't be replaced and a refrigerator and um, all of his tool tables and cabinets that he has custom built and his hunting all of his hunting supplies are in there his bow there were no guns in there thank goodness no hunting guns in there but um all things precious to him and his mom so it's been a stressful week i didn't know if i was going to be live tonight because i've had a really hard time getting motivated to do anything really except try and help him go through that garage um, we did go shopping yesterday and he got a few things that he needed, like just some basic tools to take things apart and dig through stuff and all the things that men need. Like, I don't know what those things are. I tell him to do it, right? Um, so the fire, the fire marshal and the fire inspector were here. They were here for a long time. They went through all things in the garage. And they said there were so many hot spots in there that they couldn't determine what started the fire. But sneaky suspicion that it was probably something that was charging. Like there were several things charging in there, battery packs for power tools, for cordless power tools. Um, we had a battery pack for Valerie's four wheeler that was charging. Um, there were a lot of things charging in there and we don't know because those battery packs exploded. They were on the other side of the garage. We had a gas line that went through the, the ceiling of the garage to the pool heater in the back and that actually fell down and was like a blowtorch. It was insane. The fire was just crazy. So yeah, so. We lost our mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, his mom. She was a wonderful lady. Um, I always liked her. She was always very nice to me. Enjoyed going to her home for, you know, holidays and other family gatherings. We were supposed to be flying home with her from San Diego. We're going to San Diego in a couple weeks for Steve's oldest sister's son is getting married and we have a family wedding out there and she was supposed to be in the wedding. We were gonna bring her home 
you know, just so many things, so many things run through your head. So <clears throat> it's been a tricky, a tricky week. And it was really hard being away because there was really no way for me to get home any earlier than what was already planned. And it was really hard being away knowing that my family needed me, especially Steve. But my stepdaughters, whom I knew could handle this, stepped in and took over and did everything. And I wasn't going to do this. I'm very proud of them. Haley, Stephanie, Anna. Um, they made me proud. So, let's take a breath. I do have a John report. John is getting new siding. <laughs> it's not a good report, right? John's house melted. We were just really fortunate that the fire didn't spread to his house, our house, the next, the other neighbor's house, because we're in a very residential neighborhood. We have a really big yard, but we're very close to John's house. So um, we were really lucky that nobody's house burned down, no people, no lo loss of life. That was good, right? So yeah, that's been what's happening with me. So um, we also have some great things happening. <laughs> Thanks, Marcia. It, we also have some really good things happening in the stamping world. We have um, a designer series paper sale that started on, I think, the 1st. Yes, June 1st, and it lasts all month, so that's exciting. Um, most of our brand new papers in the annual catalog are on sale. Um, rather than $12.50 a pack, they're $10.62 a pack. We also have our starter kit sale going on right now. So if you've ever thought about getting a discount on all your products or maybe um, um, starting a business, you can get the starter kit for $99. It is has free shipping and you get to choose $155 in any product you want. This is completely customizable. I would love to have you on my team. I have a fairly large team and we have a lot of fun. There's so much more that goes on behind the scenes than what you, the public, actually see going on. So um, lots of fun to have here. June is the month to get the most benefit out of ordering that kit. And you will receive a 20% minimum discount on your future orders, which is very cool. If you're a stamper, you should be getting um, a discount on your product, right? And somebody asked me, how did Steve's mom die? She went to bed one night and she just didn't wake up. So as far as the way to go, that's the way to go, right? No hospitals, no illness, no poking and prodding and bewilderment at being away from your home and all the things. So that that was the way to go. The, the shocking part for everybody was there was nothing wrong with her. She didn't have any health issues. She wasn't sick. It wasn't expected. Um, she was just here the week before I left. And so I'm glad I got to visit with her. As a matter of fact, I got a text message from her on Friday before she passed saying thank you for the Mother's Day card. It was very pretty and it told tell me to have a good time on my trip. So, yeah. So I think sometimes that makes it a touch harder, right? Because it just was so unexpected. So yeah, um, Connie says best team ever. So much fun, Connie. Thank you so much. I just, I love having you on my team. So. And yes, Kathy, I think my food poisoning is over. I never did throw up or anything. I just, we went out to eat and I ate this escargot. So nobody else had that. And so that's why we figured that's what made me sick. And then after we ate, we went and sat at a lounge on the ship and had a really good old fashioned. <laughs> like, I really like pimped. <laughs> The bartender saying, do you know how to make an old fashioned? Because I don't want any crappy old fashioned. And he's like, no, I know how to make an old fashioned. And he made a very good old fashioned. 
And I drank bottled fashion, and as soon as we got up to leave, I felt like I got hit by a truck. Like, I got hot. I was cold with chills. I was kind of sweating. I was chilled. And I just felt really crummy. And, yeah, so it hit, it hit me pretty fast. And then, like I said, I slept for the next 24 hours, pretty much. So, um, and then my stomach just felt funny after that. And then I was fine. You know, it wasn't the greatest. And then the other thing that happened on our trip, you guys, is... I told you guys we were going to rent these little tiny cars where like one person sits here and the other person behind them and you drive around in them when we got into one of our ports in Norway. And the day we got into that port, it was windy and our ship could not get the dock to line up. Like the dock would, it was a, like a, a zipper and it came out like this and then it came out like this and it came to our boat. They couldn't make that happen. And then they were going to bring in the tenders where they bring you off by boat and take you to shore. But the mooring ropes that hold the ship in place started shredding because the wind was trying to make the ship blow around. And the captain made a call that we had to get out of the port because if our ship would come loose and start doing things in this port, it probably would have destroyed a lot of things, including um, uh, one of the damn ships, um, Holland America. So, we had to leave. We didn't get to ride in our, they were called Twizzies. These little cars were called Twizzies. We didn't get to do our Twizzy rides, so that was kind of sad, too. But, um, yeah, and we didn't get our money back either. So, but it's like, it is what it is, right? We didn't lose, lose too much sleep over it. It was, a, it was a crummy situation for everybody. But the rest of our trip was um, very beautiful. Norway is gorgeous and we went into the fjords and then our ship would go down a fjord and then it would turn around it would do 360 so everybody from every side could see the beautiful waterfalls were just incredible um, lots and lots of beautiful waterfalls so that was really really pretty and then we rode a tram up the side of this mountain and went to the top and got to um, see the view from up there in, of the of the um, the bay and that was absolutely gorgeous too so it was really um, a beautiful, beautiful trip. If you like to go on vacation where it's not hot, it's probably the trip for you. <laughs> you guys know me. I like my tropical vacations. I like my little fufu umbrella drink, and I like to. Uh, I like my sunshine. So it really was beautiful, though. It was a trip of a lifetime. My mom loved it. She just had the best time ever, but when she, uh, the last day when we were, we headed back to London to catch our um, flight home, she got sick. And she got, like, um, horse and then um, lots of, uh, lots of congestion, and she was, she's still now just finally feeling better. She was pretty sick. So I don't know what that was all about, but there was a lot of people that came home with various little sick sicknesses. Well, it wasn't little like that. So <laughs> Connie says, I hear you about the sunshine vacations. I know. I love, I love me some sunshine. Yeah, so my mom was sick. She's finally feeling better as of yesterday. So thank goodness for that. And uh, yeah, um, I miss you guys a lot. So you're my people, right? Did she had COVID, Luann? Who knows? Um, she didn't go get tested because they don't do anything for it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good trip um, other than all of the things going on at home. And yeah, Betty said she forgot that I was taking my mom instead of Steve. Yeah, Steve doesn't like to fly that far. So um, that was not the trip for him. But our incentive trip for next year is to, um, we've, I've already earned the Mexico trip. We're going to an all-inclusive resort in Mexico, like the Cancun area. That should be, I've heard really good things about this resort. And then we learned on the ship that the next incentive trip for 2025 is a Disney World trip in Orlando, Florida. So um, I love Disney. I was just there. Um, I'd probably rather be going someplace else, but I'm not going to be ungrateful for a free trip. And again, only 1% of the demonstrator population earns the trip. I hope it's okay that I do. I hate saying that. <laughs> but whatever. I'll follow, I'll follow the rules. Anywho, um, 
what else did I want to tell you guys about? Oh, I've got a couple classes for the month of June, and I'm super excited about them. First of all, the online class that I do with Barb and Dina, we are going to be featuring the Zany Zoo bundle. Oh, so excited! Um, Zany Zoo. Oh, I didn't get out the stamp set. And, oh, I think I might, hang on, I think I might have it right over here. Give me a second. Zany Zoo, here it is. I brought, I brought out the, the dies, but not the stamp set. This is a Zany Zoo. Woo, woo. It also has adorable, and I mean adorable dies that go with it. Okay. That's Zany Zoo. This is the Zany Zoo, Zoo, Zoo Crew designer series paper. I love black and white paper. So we've got these fun designs on one side, black and white on the other. Um, mm, what happens to, okay, hang on, Diane. I just want to know, whoops, hang on. I'm sorry for your loss and what happened to you in the garage, but I'm most of want to know that you've been in my prayers. Oh, thank you guys so much. So many prayers coming our way, right? Kathy says, this too shall pass. And you know what? That is one of my sayings when we are in a difficult situation. Like over the years, you know, we've, we've struggled. We've struggled paying bills. We've, you know, struggled with all kinds of things. But the one thing that I always will say, and I said this to Steve this week, this too shall pass. And it can always be worse. That's another one of my, it can always, always be worse. Just keep that in mind and be grateful, right? Again, grateful that nobody died in the fire. Nobody else's house was burned down. Um, our vehicles didn't get damaged, nor did John's, which was, you know, right next door. His vehicle was here and his house was here and our garage was burning here. So his vehicle was okay. His house melted. Our vehicles were good. The boat is probably totaled. Right, I didn't lose Steve or my house. It can always be worse, you guys. Always, always. Okay, so, thank you. <laughs> Zoo Crew Designer Series Paper. And the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. This is part of that suite and also the Merry Melody Embossing Folder. That is what our, oh, and one more thing. The Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. This is option number one for our Zany Zoo class. I have not published this yet, but I do have it ready to roll. You'll find all the information on my blog, and then I will also put the link on my Facebook pages. But this is um, online class, Zany Zoo. All of that stuff with tax and shipping plus Pre-cut card stock for six cards and video tutorials for each one of the cards with a PDF file with still photos and dimensions is $116. If you already have the Zany Zoo and you would just like to order the kit with the pre-cut card stock, the PDF file, you are going to get the, um, the embellishments, the ribbon, you have the option to add on the designer series paper if you don't have it. And um, the the these two with the pre-cut card stock and PDF files, $48, or you can just order the PDF file with all the videos and the pictures and the dimensions in it for 20 bucks. Okay, that's the Zany Zoo. Next up, we have my kit class for um, June. We're going to be using, let me get this together here, the gorgeously made bundle. You guys, this is so pretty. Look at how gorgeous it is. This is like a notebook die, a torn paper die, and some um, like spriggy elements, right? So that, the kit is going to um, it's going to feature this bundle. You can add this onto the kit for $61, includes tax and shipping. The kit is going to come with the masterfully made designer series paper, so gorgeous. The adhesive backed sequin trio, some linen thread, Wink of Stella, and pre-cut cardstock pack, 
for eight cards. There's four different designs. You make two of each. You'll get video tutorials for each one, still photos, and um, written instructions with the measurements. Whew, words are hard tonight. <laughs> So all of these goodies, two classes coming out. I'm hoping to kind of get these published this week. We'll see how that goes. We have um, at the, the guy who's supposed to demolish the garage and haul it away is coming tomorrow. And um, so we'll see exactly what I get accomplished this week. Okay, so I talked about joining my team. Where did that little piece of paper go? Joining my team right here. I'll bring that out again. The Designer Series Paper Special, I'll show all of those to you. We have new online exclusives coming July 6th. Yay! Remember the Hello Irresistible um, bundle suite of products was part of our online exclusives last time. We have some new ones coming. And again, those can be found in, the, um, in my online store only. Okay? Somebody wants to know, where did you get your t-shirt? Oh, so I got this from Amazon. It's the Rosebud Motel, which is part of the um, Schitt's Creek series. Yeah, we're, me, Dina, and Barb, big fans. So that's where I got my t-shirt is on Amazon. And you can just look for um, S-C-H-I-T-T-S Creek. That's a, sh that's a series that's on um, TV. You can look for that on Amazon and just put in t-shirts and you should be able to find this. I know I love this color too. It's totally me, right? <laughs> okay, we have prizes to give away. Um, there are three ways you can win fabulous prizes from me. And the first way is by leaving a comment. So if you have not left a comment yet, just type something in. Michelle says, hilarious show. I know, right? <laughs> um, Leave a comment, you could just say hello or whatever. Everybody gets entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have some of these in color jewels. These are so fun and so pretty on your cards. These are going for the comments from my last live. And Melanie Foy of Arizona. Melanie, yay, you're the winner, Woohoo! hoo uh, Yes, I think that this is Berry Burst and I love it. <laughs> So make sure you leave a comment so you can be entered in the drawings. And it's not just while I'm live. Later, too, like if you're watching the replay, leave a comment because I go from all of the, all of the comments. So, Melanie, those are going to be coming your way. Next up, for sharing this video, someplace on your screen right now, you can click on share. So click share, and um, you will be entered in another drawing to win fabulous prizes. And guess what I have today? <gasps> a bow jig. Yeah, these are what I use to make my bows. And, whoops, hang on. Oh, these holes. Oh, they just need to be. I'm like, they don't fit, but they do. So we've got some nails in the end of this board, and this is how you tie bows. So whoever wins this, and I've got their name right here, I will send you a video that shows you various ways to use this. The winner from my last live is Luann Wiedenfeller. Luann Wiedenfeller. And Luann, I do not have your address. So if you could please email that to me, Kelly, K E L L Y, at astampabove.com. Email me your address, tell me you won the bow jig, and I will get this out in the mail to you right away. Yay! All right. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose anything. I gotta set that off to the side. The third way you can win fabulous prizes from me is by placing an order. You guys know that I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business. It what pays my bills. I have the Scenic Garden stamp set. This was an exclusive stamp set. This is going out to Kathy Crumpton of Glendale, Maryland. Kathy, I do have your address. Thank you so much for your recent order, and I will be getting this out in the mail to you tomorrow. One more thing I want to tell you guys before I forget is please, please check your insurance coverage. We found out that our garage was not insured for enough money to rebuild it. So 
my advice to you is to get on the phone with your insurance agent and have them come and reevaluate. You know, we've had this insurance for a long time. The price of building, the price of building materials has gone up significantly and we're going to be short on this garage. And if we had thought about it, we could have called our agent and said, hey, can you reevaluate and make sure that our house and our garage are covered to rebuild? And um, of course, you don't think of things until there's kind of, you know, uh, you're forced to, right? So, yeah, please make sure you check your insurance and that you are covered for rebuild because, yeah, it's going to be pricey. <laughs> yeah. Rawr. There's just another little notch in the uh, twist in the knife a little bit, right? Yeah. So thank you guys all for your comments, for sharing my video. Sharing my video is what helps me grow my business, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, also, when you're on Facebook and you see that I post something, if you can share that, ah, oh, that's fabulous. That also helps get me out to more people. And um, I love giving away prizes, right? That's, that's one of my fun things that I get to do. Okay, yeah, we had a brand new generator, and that's gone. <laughs> All the things that are gone, it's like, oh my good Lord. I, we did hire a person to come in and help with the inventory of the garage. You know, it, I keep calling it a garage, but it was really like a master shop is what it was. <laughs> And um, she's going to come in and help with, like, all the things you don't think of. Like, they they count all the nuts and the bolts and the screws and the nails and all the things, like shop gloves and shop rags and the little containers that you put all this stuff in, all those things. And then they find out how much they cost to replace because that's where we're running into a, oh, my gosh, we don't even know what to do type situation, right? Because it's just so overwhelming, the amount of things that he lost. So, anywho, check your insurance. Yeah, recommend that highly. I have a couple really cool cards for you guys tonight. First of all, Friendship Royalty. This is my million dollar stamp set. I got to design this um, as part of the benefit of when you hit a million dollars in sales with Stampin' Up, they have so many perks for you. This was one of my perks. I got to design a stamp set. And I do have kits available with this stamp set. You can order the stamp set from me and I will autograph the inside cover. This is not on the plastic. It's actually on the sleeve. So you don't have to worry about it wearing off. Um, on my blog, www.astampabub.com, there's a place for you to choose whether you just want the stamp set. If you would like the stamp set with my exclusive kit, um, there are eight cards in the kit, four different designs. Maybe there's more in that one. Um, but a whole bunch of goodies go with the kit. You get some memories and more, cards and envelopes, some embellishments. I don't remember what's all in the kit. I should remember because I made a ton of them. But I ran out of them and I just got another order in. So I have um, I have more in stock. You can order the kit. You can order the kit with the stamp set or you can just order the stamp set. So um, you can find that on my blog. And I think I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I know, Connie. I already mailed yours out. Yay! Um, you should also take pictures of everything. Yeah, you should. You really should. We had a video of the garage. Um, but, you know, not all the things. We didn't open up the drawers and do that. Yeah, you should go around and do that because it's been really difficult trying to remember. Like, m my husband had the giant, I mean, giant tool, double tool chest filled. Filled. And the bottom chest, you can't get the drawers open. It's melted. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, and my swimming pool is still sitting there covered up because everything melted, like my heater's gone, my filter's gone, my, ugh, it's all gone. So lots of, lots of things happening here that aren't good, but we're trying to persevere and get through it, and we will, and it could always be worse, right? And this too shall pass. Yeah, so I am ready to um, turn my camera around. And I think I'm going to move this. I'm ready to turn my camera around. The other thing that happened is you guys know that I've been remodeling my house. 
um, over the last few years and we finally put in new windows and both windows at the back of the house are now cracked so we just replaced the double insulated double garage door you know the big one that goes up and the garage door opener and the access door the front and the back all brand new makes me mad but again could have been worse right okay I'm gonna pop you out of here and I'm gonna do this this is my view now I know my windows are dirty they're also cracked but that's my view that's my garage it's a mess two Harleys two Harleys right right there right in the front yeah sadness <laughs> for sure but nobody died, right? Well, except my mother-in-law, but she wasn't part of the fire, so thank God for that. Okay, I am going to move you around just a little bit so I can get things straight here, because I hate it when you're all kitty wampus. And, yay! This is my new host code. Um, my host codes usually last for the whole month. Um, sometimes they don't, but you can always find them on my blog. My blog address is right here. And before I forget, I want to mention Stamp Happy Academy. Stamp Happy Academy is a stamper's happy paradise that I do with my friends Barb and Dina. Basic membership is $19.95. It includes four online classes every month, special events throughout the year, catalog kickoff parties. Premium membership is $34.95. It includes all of this plus... Um, three live classes every month. Super, super fun. Um, we've heard nothing but great things from everyone who are members of the Stamp Happy Academy. If you're a stamper, it is glorious. You will absolutely love it. Um, you can go to stamphappyacademy.ning.com. If you can't remember that, just type in Stamp Happy Academy. That will get you there. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer them. Then I wanted to bring in, here is that starter kit. Just as a little reminder, you can join my team for $99 and you get to pick out $155 in any product you want. Yay! Oh, you guys are so kind. Connie loves Stamp Happy Academy. Jan says you will not be sorry. We had somebody tell us that is the best gift they've ever bought themselves. And that was so exciting to hear because we really do put our heart and soul into making Stamp Happy Academy a fabulous, fabulous resource for all kinds of um, stamping ideas. You'll love it. Okay. I wanted to share with you guys, Kathy Miller, she is one of my team members and my very good friend, bless her heart. She makes my designer series paper samplers so that I can show you a little piece of each one of the um, designer series papers. So this is the Earth and Elegance. It is on sale. It is part of the sale that's going on. This is the delightfully, delightfully eclectic designer series paper. This is a ginormous pack of paper. You get like 48 sheets in here. You get four of each design and they're all double-sided. This is the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. This is These are all part of the sale. Let's Go Fishing, one of my favorites because I love masculine stamp sets and masculine paper. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I just made um, a fabulous card for the Stamp Happy Academy live class before I left on my trip with this. Less Shops. I hope that's how you say that. I'm not French, so whatever. <laughs> this is also a really beautiful paper, and these all go with sweets. The Stargazing Designer Series paper, so pretty. Bright and beautiful. Oh, this goes with that balloon bundle. Absolutely gorgeous. Fun, fun patterns. We have the Glorious Gingham Designer Series Paper, always fun. Also the Inked Botanicals, which is one we're going to be using for a card right away. And also included is the Masterfully Made Designer Series Paper. This is actually strips of paper or pieces of paper that are torn and made into designs. You can see the torn edge here. 
these flowers are made with little tears of torn paper and then they photographed it. It's so beautiful. I love, love, love this. That's gonna be my kit class for this month. So, okay, are you guys ready to do some stamping? I'm so excited to be stamping with you. We are going to be using the Inked Botanicals. We've got Lost Lagoon and Pool Party Ink here tonight. We've got the beautiful Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon. And this is just really unique and different and I love it. We're gonna be using the polished, or I'm sorry, the brushed brass butterflies for this card. Here is the stamp set called Inked and Tiled. And let's see. Oh, hang on, I gotta grab my catalog here. Oh, I, I gotta get out the punches. Here is the whole suite. It's on page 94 and 95. And let me grab those punches. Punch, 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 punch. Hmm. Where are they? I don't know where they are. I lost them. Hmm. Here they are. I'm like, where did they go? These two punches are part of that bundle. And these are called the Tiled Punch Pack. You get this like X and then I don't know what that image is called, but it's like a double square. I'm not sure. But anyways, if you order the bundle, you get not only the stamp set, but you also get these two punches with it in the bundle. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. So before I left you guys, I had a whole bunch. Hang on, I'm gonna come back over here. I know I have my fan on because it's really hot up here. And if I get hot enough to start taking some clothes off, I'm gonna do it behind the camera so you can't see. Too much information there. <laughs> Maybe, a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, before I left, I had a whole bunch of swaps that I had to make, right? lots and lots of swaps. So this was one of the swap cards and um, I was very grateful to have those swaps and I always make an extra set and put them in a bag like this so that I'm ready to roll should I get into a pinch and I don't have the whole day to be designing cards for my live class on Sunday night. So this is why I'm here tonight because I had some cards that I had made for the swapping. So I'll be sharing those with you tonight. I always share them, but it just depends on when, right? So we are going to be, hang on, let me get my little cheat sheet up here so I can tell you, oh, that's an old one. I can throw that away so I can tell you all my little dimensions. I have got my um, vanilla, very vanilla envelope, and I've got two and a half by six inch designer series paper. And I decided to use this particular pattern. My sample card that I made uses a different pattern, so I'll make sure I show that to you too. But we're gonna start this off by adding that piece of designer paper to my envelope flap because you guys know I love to do that. And you just add your glue to the flap and then put your designer paper on there and grab your scissors and trim around the flap. I have a whole bunch of mail to show you guys too. Like I have so much mail. We're not going to get through all of it tonight. I'm, I assure you of that. But <laughs> you guys, you guys are fantastic. You really know how to make a girl feel special, I have to say. So here's our beautiful little envelope. And, and again, this is a vanilla envelope because the base color in a lot of these papers is vanilla. We do have white in some of them, but... Um, I like that we have white and vanilla, and now we also have craft colored envelopes. Let me grab one of those, because I just got those in. 
These are the craft note cards and envelopes. So it comes with 20 note cards and 20 envelopes. And then I noticed that I think there's something else in here too. I didn't pay real close attention when I bought this, but I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna find out what it is together. Hang on just a second. I don't wanna stab myself. I've got enough problems, right? I think this is some type of a box. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, it is. It's a little box that goes with this. Well, isn't that nifty? There's two of them in here. So that's really cool. Okay, I wasn't even aware of that, but as long as we're looking, let's just take a little look-see at that and see if I can find it in here real quick and we can find out what that's all about. So many new products. Sometimes it's just really hard to know everything off the bat when you've got a brand new catalog, right? I know it's gonna be back here someplace, right here. Oh, it just barely shows a little box there. So that's cool, I'm excited about that. Let me get back to my next project page here. Okay, so we've got our envelope done. We're ready to roll with that. This is a really nice, easy card, and it's a fun layout that you can use with all different kinds of stamp sets and paper. This is Lost Lagoon, eight and a half by five and a half. And I just fold it in half and burnish that edge. Then I've got a piece of um, very vanilla, four by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of the designer series paper. This is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of pool party. And this is three and a quarter by three and a half. And the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna stamp on there. Let me get out one of my, this is a piercing mat. We sell these in my online store. It's called Stamp and Pierce Mat. And I just put um, printer weight paper around it and tape it on with some scotch tape. So we are going to use, I think I'm gonna use the pool. I don't know if I'm actually using Lost Lagoon. We'll see what happens here. Um. So I don't remember exactly what I did here, but we're going to find out shortly because I made this like two weeks ago, right? <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys ever have that problem where you're like, oh, I don't remember how I did this. So I've got my pool party ink here and I'm going to stamp it. Yep, this is, this is the color I used on here. I'm going to stamp this on here. Now, I want to tell you that this is three and a quarter by three and a half. So this is the three and a half way. I've got my flowers going like this. I just wanna make sure that you're aware of that. And it's all about the way that I wanted this to actually end up on my card front. Isn't that just pretty? I love, love watercolor look on my cards. And that's what this um, the stamp image is. It's like a watercolory type image. Okay, we are going to take our card base and I can't remember, I'm gonna grab a scrap because I can't remember if I used, which color ink I used. So let me grab some Lost Lagoon. One of the hardest things for me, here it is, is remembering which color family the new colors are in. Like Lost Lagoon is in with my settles. It's hard for me to remember that. I don't know what my deal is that I have such a hard time with it, but we've got all these really cool little images in here. And yes, this is, I'm going to use pool party on here instead of lost lagoon because I want it to be lighter. So we'll grab our card base and then I'm just going to use these cool kind of like little scribble deals and just put some texture on my background. Come in over here. You're not gonna see much of this because we're gonna cover it up. And then we've got this little, this little image, which is weird, but it's weird in a good way because I like it. <laughs> I like strange little images like this. I think they add a lot. Okay, so oh, let's just do one more over here. Yay, call it a day. All right, next, oh, we need a scrap of vanilla. So let me grab that. Scrap. I don't know how scrappy that is, but it's going to have to work. 
Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that Lost Lagoon ink and I am going to use the one and three quarter inch, whoops, hang on, I've got cords falling down everywhere. One and three quarter inch circle punch and the two inch circle punch. So I am going to punch out a one and three quarter inch circle. And then where'd that scrap go? Here's my, here's my um, Lost Lagoon. And I'll just punch a scrap out of this or punch a, a two inch circle out of that. And then I'm gonna grab my Hello Friend. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six sentiments in this beautiful stamp set. Look at that leaf image. We didn't even use that or that or that. Maybe we'll use that one too. But anyways, I'm gonna do the Hello Friend and I am going to stamp that, oops, on the other side. <laughs> Thank goodness there's two sides to the paper, right? Yay! Oh, somebody asked, Sylvia asked about celebration. Yeah, we're only having one celebration from now on. That was a test run with two, and um, I'm rather relieved. It was a lot to deal with. Okay, and now, where'd my scrap go? Here it is. I'm just gonna test this out again. I don't know if I wanna stamp off once. I do not. We're using the pool party and we're gonna stamp these beautiful flowers right on there. Oh, I love this look. Love it. And we'll cover up that mistake on the opposite side. Okay, so here's our little circle. Steve was gonna come up here tonight, you guys, to thank everybody for the cards and the gifts. Um, but he is on a roll down there with his list and his inventory. And it's been really hard for me to get him to stay focused. Like, <laughs> so I didn't want to, I didn't want to like blow that if you know what I mean. Okay. We're going to take our flower again in, I think the pool party and we're just going to, oops, I'm going to stamp this all the way to the bottom this time. And I want to stamp this right in the middle of my four by five and a quarter inch layer. Okay, and yep, that's gonna be fine. We're gonna put this on the inside, and my idea with this is that you can write right over it, and I really love that look. Like, I think it's something cool, it's a little different, right? We usually stamp down here, or put some designer paper, and this way you can just write right over it, which is pretty neat. And then we're gonna take our designer series paper, and we're gonna put this right on the side, leave a little bit margin left, top, right, I'm sorry, <laughs> left, top, and bottom. And this layer is gonna get that ribbon. All right, here we go. I'm going to cut this. Oop, let's get out our ribbon scissors. Don't let me cut any paper with these. You know how mad that made me, right? <laughs> if you guys were watching, I was bragging one night how I have this ribbon on my ribbon scissors. I don't cut any paper with them. I only cut ribbon. And I was telling everybody how I've been so good about not being lazy and using them for paper. And then I picked them up and cut some paper. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's that pretty ribbon. And now I'm gonna take just a little piece and tie it around here. And I like that because you don't get the double knot bulk that's gonna be in with your card, right? It's just a, it's just a single knot when you do it this way. And then I'm gonna cut it at an angle. Yay! just like that. Isn't that just so pretty? And now you can move this over if you need to adjust it. You can move it back and forth. It moves around pretty easy. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this sentiment layer. And I want to make sure that my dimensionals are at the top and the bottom because I don't want them on the ribbon because then it just kind of moves around, right? And I don't like that. That's one of my things. It's one of my uh-uh things. I'm gonna put this right in here, make sure that sentiment is straight on my layer. Oh, 
Isn't that so pretty? I just really love this. I love the layout of this card. Super duper easy too. And next we're gonna put this right on here and we're going to add dimensionals. And I think I'm gonna put these away. So nobody has to yell at me tonight. I've been through quite enough. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't need anybody yelling at me. Kelly, you used the wrong scissors. I know you guys will be gentle, right? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to pop this layer up as well because, well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to come on here tonight. This is exactly what I needed to be with my people. Where do you come up with your card ideas? Mary wants to know. Well, Mary, that's a really good question because I am not, you know, some people are great designers and I'm not one of those people, but I like to go online and look at other cards and then I will pull away the layout. Or I do a lot of swapping. Like I said, I've been working feverishly on swap cards as Stampin' Up! demonstrators. That's what we do when there's a new catalog. So I have, let me see, I have buckets and buckets and buckets of swap cards and I will grab a card and I will take that layout and maybe change the colors, change the stamp set, do something else, change the embossing folder, do something totally different with it, but keep the same layout. Or maybe I'll keep the, car, the, the color combinations and use totally different other things. But I love to swap. And one of the fun things that we do with my team is we have a monthly team swap that anybody is available to participate in. And can I just say, my team members are killing it on the swaps. Like their cards are so beautiful. So that's another way that you can participate more than being, um, a customer of mine, you can join my team and participate in all these other things that are going on behind the scenes. And card monthly card swap is one of them. I also have a monthly team meeting that everybody can join. It is on Zoom platform. Also, I live stream it to Facebook if that's where you would prefer to see it. I'm gonna add these brushed brass butterflies on here. And um, we have demonstrations and we have mystery stamping. We have challenges all over the place. Oh, I want my butterfly to go a different way. See, I'm weird like that. I'm very picky about things like this. There we go. So we have all of these things available to team members. And it's just one of the fun things about being part of something bigger, which is exactly what that would be. Oh, I love that I put all those on there. Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, you guys, what do you think? Yay! Yeah, and Tammy says you can case catalogs, case cards out of the catalog. That's another great place to get all this fabulous inspiration. Like, you can look at these cards and you can see, like, this layout right here. This is a fabulous layout. You could use this with a different stamp set, different designer paper, different color card base, or make it just as it is because that's why they give you these samples is so you can be inspired by them. All right, you guys, this is inked and tiled. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love this. And it uses the inked botanicals. This is a pack of six by six designer series paper. Absolutely beautiful images here. There's our first card for the night. Oh, and I said I was going to show you my other one. This is the same color combination, but it used the little leaf, leaf patterns. And here I use Lost Lagoon on the background, and I think I'd like it to be a little more subtle. You can, of course, use the darker color if that's what you like. Everybody's, everybody's um, opinion can be different, right? And I use sequins on here. On this one, I use the brass butterflies. So... This is a great layout. I love this layout. So fun. All right, let me pick up some of this stuff and we will make our next card. Oh, somebody says it's blurry. Hmm. So sorry about that. Um, 
I can't find out where the blurry came in, but I can tell you I'm watching it on my iPad over here and it's not blurry on there. So it might be your streaming. I know the last time we had a problem with blurry, it was actually on my end and somebody yelled at me telling me not to always blame everybody else. I, I promised myself I wasn't going to talk about that, but obviously it still makes me angry because it wasn't very nice. I'm not blaming anybody for the blurry. It is what it is. And when that happens, I really can't do anything about it. So I'm telling the God's honest truth. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, it's not blurry on my end either. Like on my iPad, it's nice and crystal, crystal clear. The wiggle line would be great as water. It really would be, wouldn't it? I agree with you. That would make really good water. My fingernail polish is so pretty next to the card base. Ah, thank you. I didn't want to get too close with my fingernails because I really do need to get them redone this week. They're getting kind of overgrown, but look what my Miss Vicky did for me. She made this little daisy right here. It's kind of, you know, it's meant to be kind of um, watercolory, sloppy. And this one. So I've got that on my ring fingers on both sides. And I wanted this to be a lighter color, but I always pick the darker orange by mistake. And then once, it on, once it's on, I can't tell her to take it off because we know she gets a little crabby with me, if you recall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next card. I'm going to set these aside. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much, too, by the way. Oh, what is the inside? What's inside the card? Here we go. This. I stamped the flower with pool party ink, and then I intend to write right over it, so I just think that's kind of a neat look. I hope that helps. All right, here we go. What are you guys drinking tonight? Woot, woot. I have my strawberry lemonade. Okay, so my mom said that... Um, my mom said that she actually lost a pound on our cruise. Can you believe that? Yeah. I don't think I, well, I think I gained a couple pounds. But you guys remember I had lost a couple pounds before I left and I was trying to diet, which I was very successful at. Like I, I lost a few pounds, but um, this week that's been out of the question. I'm kind of learned that I'm a stress eater. And while I'm not eating a lot, I'm certainly not dieting. Yeah. Diet Pepsi. We got water. Diet Pepsi. Coke Zero. Gin and tonic. I love it, Barbara. Some sweet tea for Deidre. Yay. Water. Joe's got water. Did I fix my water bottle? Oh, Krista, that's a great question. Okay, so I actually, what I did is I bought a new water bottle. And I took the lid off the new bottle and put it onto my old bottle with my cute little stickers on it, right? And what I found is that the seal where my straw connects in there is what was causing the noise when I was drinking, right? It did, I don't know, it's hard to, you know what I'm talking about. So I bought a new bottle. I kept the old bottle, I put, the, I put my old lid on the new bottle and kept my old bottle and put the new lid on that so that Val and me can have matching bottles, right? She can barely lift this thing because it's so heavy. Yeah. Um, I did get to, I was, I was granny extraordinaire Wednesday afternoon, all day Thursday and all day Friday this week because Haley's, um, babysitter, who is also one of my helpers, um, was off for her son's graduation. So I got to watch the kids not only Wednesday afternoon, but Thursday and Friday as well. And we had a blast. And can I just say, little Miss Valerie is extremely protective of her little brother. It was so funny. So he had a bowl of shoestring potatoes, you know, potato chip shoestring things. And he picked it up and he was going to tip it off and dump it on the floor. And I said, don't you do that. And he dumped it on the floor. And I said, Dawson, that was naughty. And Val ran over by him and said, don't you yell at my brother. That was so funny. But she's fiercely protective of that guy, I'll tell you. It was really cute. <clears throat> and all I could do was giggle, right? Because what are you going to say? My sweet little thing. She keeps saying that Papa's garage is broke. 
Papa's garage broke. And we're like, yep, Papa's garage is broke. We didn't have the heart to tell her that her four-wheeler's gone because that melted. Everything melted. Everything melted in the garage. Okay, next card. Countryside Corners. Who has this one? I want to know. Who has this one? Java Sip and Cream. Drinking dark, dark chocolate Java Sip and Cream Moonshine. Oh my gosh, Bonnie. I love you. <laughs> You go, girl, with your moonshine. <laughs> that sounds fun. I could use some moonshine. Um, my Southern Comfort, all my drink stuff went in the refrigerator in the garage, too. So I have to go buy some more booze. Yeah, how, uh, we're like, what kind of booze are we going to put on the inventory list for the insurance company? <laughs> I've also got this beautiful boho blue. This is our textured ribbon. It's 3 h three eighths inches wide and it is really really pretty boho blue misty moonlight ink countryside corners comes with the countryside corner dies which are so fun the other stamp set that i find that really complements this and matches the designer paper is the lasting joy so we've got these flowers in here that are um, matching to the designer paper this designer paper of course is also on sale yeah, Betty says top shelf liquor. You know it, girl. I will be buying top shelf liquor. Um, Steve had some super expensive tequila in there. I'll have to remind him of that. I wonder if he remembered that. But we just keep thinking of things like, oh, yeah, the Southern Comfort, Diana, gone. I think I had two bottles, right? <laughs> yeah, because I ordered, I bought one and took it to Wyoming and back twice and never opened it. <laughs> so much of a drinker I am. <laughs> so pathetic. Anyways, um, let's see. Where's my cardstock? Here's my cardstock. So we are going to make a beautiful little card with this bundle, Countryside Corners. And I am going to <clears throat> show you this in the catalog. It's on page 62 and 63. Oh, this designer paper is just so pretty, right? It also has an embossing folder that matches it, and that is called uh, Country Blossom, Countryside Blossoms Embossing Folder. That might be on back order right now, if I recall correctly. I think it might. But anyways, you have all of these dies. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies in this set. And then on the next page is where you're going to find the lasting joy that has some beautiful sentiments in it and the flowers that match up with the Countryside Designer Series paper. Countryside Inn, it's called. Okay, let's keep moving along here. Um, I don't know why, Diana, your messages are being held for review. I'm not sure why, but I'm trying to approve them. Sometimes YouTube does that. Okay, we are going to start out with our envelope, of course, two and a half by six. We are going to, oh, Sharon said that the suite was unavailable, but it's in now. Excellent. And it does say that something in the suite is on low inventory, or maybe that embossing folder is on low inventory. But either way you go, if you want to get your hands on this right away, I appreciate your orders and you can get it before it goes on back order. And by the way, Stampin' Up! doesn't really do back orders anymore. If something's not available, you have to order it when it is available. They won't let you pay for it now and have them ship it later because when COVID was going on, that was such a problem because getting shipments in was so like sketchy and unstable as the timing that it was costing thousands and thousands of dollars for back orders. So they just quit doing them and I don't blame them. Okay, here's our beautiful little envelope flap. We've got um, Misty Moonlight is our card base. Hello, Marjean from Wyoming. I'm glad you're joining us. We're going to, this is eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold and burnish that edge. And then that was a scrap. And we've got all these little pieces. This is for the inside. I've marked them because there's lots of white involved here. 
So what I decided to do is this is my four by five and a quarter basic white. And I am going to just add a piece of designer paper right over here on the edge. This is one by, is this, oh yeah, one by four. And I just wanted to put that on the inside as a little decoration. And of course I'm gonna leave the inside blank so that I can use it for whatever I choose. Okay, so here's our inside. This card is gonna go this way. I'm starting to get hungry. I only had a half a hamburger. Steve grilled a couple burgers tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I had a half a hamburger, so now I'm starting to get hungry. Imagine that. Okay, then. I've got a small piece of basic white here, and this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I took this designer series paper and I cut it at three and three quarters by five. So I am going to, oh, I was gonna use this side, but now I don't know. I suppose I could. Could I? No, I can't. Never mind. I'm gonna put the glue on this side. And we're gonna put that on this white layer. And again, the white layer is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And I love putting dark designer paper or dark cardstock on a white layer because it really makes it pop. I think you guys will totally agree with me on that one. And then we're gonna put this on our card front. I should have used boho blue for my card base because then I could show you two different options, but I didn't, but I would definitely for the next one. All right, now we're gonna get out those dies. And where did my stamp go? This is all one stamp. So we're gonna stamp that. Let's stamp that first. We'll do that first. This is my layer from my die cut. And I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat here. I'm gonna use Misty Moonlight. And we're gonna ink this up. It's always easier with a big stamp like this to bring your ink to your stamp rather than trying to take your stamp to your ink pad. You really can't see what's going on when you do it that way. So I really like to do it this way with a big stamp. I'm going to stamp this. There we go. Oh, look how perfect that is. Okay, here's where some things are going to happen. Oh, I need to do my boho blue. Hang on, things are going to happen in a second. <laughs> I got the Thinking of You, again, from The Lasting Joy, right here. I love the fonts in here, and I like the different fonts, too. We've got very blocky type of, like, maybe Arial. I don't know what the name of the font is. And then we've got these pretty scripty ones that are neat. But I'm going to do Thinking of You in Boho Blue. Keep your fingers crossed that I actually get this straight. Oh, I think I did a pretty good job. I did, yay. Okay, things are going my way tonight, huh? <laughs> so far. Uh. All right, now we're gonna bring those dies out. Um, here they are. Oh, which size stamping block did I use? Are you asking about this giant one, Barbara? Or if you're asking about this one, this is the biggest one, this is the size. F. I think that's what you're asking. I hope. Okay. Dies. Here we go. Now, there's this little tiny banner die, which is really cute, right? But we're not going to use that one. I'm going from largest to smallest, and so I am numbering them. And the outside is actually a number three. So this is number one, number two, number three. We're going to take that die and we are going to die cut this, okay? And then we are going to take number five, so that was one, two, three is missing, four, five. Here's number five. And we are going to die cut that. And then we're gonna take 
number six to die cut that center. And the one that's left over here, which is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, number four, we're gonna die cut a piece of this paper, okay? And I've already done that. So we've got that done. And now I need my tape. All these, I'm gonna put these in place so they don't move. You can use washi tape, you can use post-it notes, you can use anything you want. I just happen to have some um, low-tech artist tape is what I have. And then this one is gonna get lined up right there and this one is gonna get lined up right there. So, and all of these can run through at the same time as long as these don't move okay so I'm gonna bring my machine in these are the types of things that I usually have done ahead of time that I just didn't have time to do today so I think sometimes you guys appreciate being able to see the whole process and other times it's like eh, you know how to die cut stuff right If you're coming in late, if you guys could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. That just helps me in all the YouTube analytics. Share my video someplace on your screen as a share button right now and make sure you leave a comment so you can be entered in the drawing to win prizes. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Here we go. We can use this. I keep this in my stamp case now because we can definitely use that for another card. We are going to pop all of these out of here. Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. Wow. And then we have that designer series paper too. Okay, so let me get these put away. So I don't lose any. And like I said, I'm going to put this in here because I can use that with some other card. And now we're ready to do some things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right in the center of the front of my card. So I'm just going to glue that down. This is, this is a little like, hmm, really? Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it and glue it down. And we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that I can put something in the center and not have it be dumb looking. <laughs> Look at that. This piece right here, I'm going to take and add some dimensionals. Where did that card of dimensionals go that I was chopping on? Does anybody see it here? Maybe I put it away. That, no, I don't think I did. Well, maybe I did. Okay. We're gonna raise this one up. And again, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's really good, to, it's gonna add a really neat look. Here we go, okay. I like to use my take your pick tool to pick the backings off of these because I do have acrylic nails. Sometimes that is frustrating and this just saves me from that frustration. And then I throw them on the floor, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna center this right on the front of my card. I think I did pretty good. And this piece I'm not using so we're gonna put that in here also. And then we're gonna pop this piece up, our little sentiment that says thinking of you. Do that. And add a dimensional. And we're gonna pop this right in here center that. What do you guys think? Oh, that's a little crooked. Hang on. Okay. 
Oh, no, I made it more crooked. There we go. Last but not least, we have to put some ribbon on here. Oh, that's not the right ribbon. This is the right ribbon. This is the boho. Yeah, I was going to say it's not. Yeah, it's boho. So I'm going to just tie a nice little knot. I'm not going to squeeze it real or pull it real tight. It's going to be kind of light. I think my commenting quit on my iPad. Can somebody type something for me? Because I don't have anything coming through, which is really weird. Okay. I'm going to cut these off straight instead of at an angle. I just kind of liked that look. And then we've got a mini glue dot here. Did anybody comment? I'm not seeing anything here. There we go. Thank you. Oh, Karen is here. Yeah, I am a little emotionally drained, Karen. That'd be a good way to put it. Thank you. It's been a week. Oops, I just frayed this. This does fray easily, so I'm thinking that that's going to be cool for some really neat type of ribbon techniques. But there we go. Here is our Countryside Corners using the Countryside In Designer Series paper. And again, I really, really love these beautiful patterns and the colors are just so pretty, right? So there we go. Gorgeous. A little bit of designer paper in there, thinking of you. Love this card. This is the other card that we made. Great layout. I like all the possibilities with all of the these dies. These dies are going to be a lot of fun for a lot of different things, not just the stamp set. I think these are going to be good for using with other stamp sets. Here we go. Let's get these all put back together. Because doesn't that look nice? <laughs> Lots of times my stuff is kind of a mess, but I like these. These are really cool. And again, these are the countryside corner dies. And yeah, I've got something really goofy, you guys, happening with my um, comments right now. I know people are commenting, but um, Marjean says hello from Wyoming. That's staying at the bottom, which is weird. All right, so hang tight. I am going to grab the mail because you guys have to see all these beautiful cards. I've got so many cards to share with you. And we'll share a few of them tonight and we'll do some more next time. Where'd my stamp set go? Right here. Let me put this away before I drop it on my cards and make a mess. Um, I will have these cards on my blog and my blog address is right here. I do have a new blog, you guys, so make sure that you're going to astampabove.com, not astampabove.typepad.com. Typepad is old. I'm not using that one anymore. Are there dies with the other stamp set? That's a really good question, Amy, and there's a punch bundle. These two punches come with the inked and tiled. Hang on. Oh, are you talking about the Lasting Joy, maybe? I don't think so. I think that's just a stamp set. Let me take a look here real quick. Oh, that was the Inked and Tiled. Here is the Lasting Joy. No, Lasting Joy does not have um, dies. It looked like it did, didn't it? But it does not. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So that's a good question. Thank you for asking. The blue one is your favorite. Yay! I know. Really, really pretty, right? Okay. Let me, you guys, bring in some of my mail. And I'm just going to grab a pile of it here and get started. <laughs> so... For those of you that might be coming in late, Steve lost his um, mother last week, and so I have a whole bunch of mail to share with you. 
This first card is from our good friends, Vicki and Mike. And Vicki always makes very, very simple um, and crisp cards. She is a minimalist stamper, but I always love what she does. And you see how she put this extra layer of white on here with those black words and this pretty flower. Isn't that just gorgeous? And she stamped the inside with a sympathy greeting. So, so pretty. Oh, before I forget, you guys, this is my current host code. If you are putting an order in with me, I always appreciate your orders. Use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to be able to take advantage of those. This card is from my mother. Isn't she sweet? And she sent a sympathy card to see. Look at how they put the paper, the tiny little paper down in there with a half a tree, which is really nice. Love this. This is a fun fold. So pretty. And this was is from Andy Acristo. She's one of my team members. And again, very crisp and clean. I love, love this card. And I really appreciated the message that you put in here, Anne. So thank you very much. Next, we got a card from Lola. Lola, thank you so much for this beautiful card and also thank you for the gift. It is greatly appreciated, but isn't this so, so pretty? Absolutely beautiful. And we're keeping the, I gotta keep these straight. This card is from, <clears throat> Patty and Steve Wyanecki. I love the strips of designer paper here. This is a really cool layout. And again, Patty, thank you so much for the gift. That was gorgeous. Then we've got Jim and Cindy Ellers. You are the best. I love this card. Thank you for the gift. It's absolutely beautiful. Love the dragonflies, right? Very, very pretty. Elaine Rebeck, I know you're on here tonight. Ah, this is so gorgeous. Such a pretty card. And thank you so much also for the gift. It's greatly appreciated. We've got Kathy back. Kathy um, sent a gift card. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. This is one of our paper pumpkin kits. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Love it. Then we have Patty Grana. I have to tell you, Steve went through all of these cards and he like had to feel this. He's like, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> so Patty, you intrigued him with the die cuts. <laughs> Thank you so much for the card and the gift. Next we have Deborah Pico. Deborah, Steve also had to comment on this card. He's like, wow, that's really cool. And he again touched it. So guys can have an appreciation, right? And you know what he said? He goes, I really like all the texture, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny to hear him critique things. But what a beautiful, beautiful card. And again, thank you so much for your gift. Nancy Schultz. Look at how beautiful. This was one of our celebration sets, right? This is so, so pretty. Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your beautiful card and your gift. We have one here from Michelle Mock. I love the simplicity of this card. Like it's got three leaves stamped on it and a piece of crumb cake behind it with the Blackberry Bliss. It's so, so pretty. Thank you so very much. And this one is from Deb. And I want to say this is from Deb Sedlinger, but I'm not sure because Steve opened this before I got home and he threw away the envelope. So um, if, if who, whoever wants to claim this card, I know I would claim it for sure. It's gorgeous. It's a slimline card uses the beautiful designer paper from the Hello Irresistible. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you so much, Deb. That is so, so pretty. All right, you guys want to see some more cards or have you had enough for tonight? How are we doing there? I know, De Judy says, LOL, Steve. I know, he's kind of funny from time to time, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for those of you that are coming in and um, offering condolences. They're greatly appreciated. Like, you guys, your thoughtfulness is just beyond measure, for sure. Here we have, this is from Nancy Ellison. And again, what a beautiful, beautiful card. I love the way she spritzed the marker on the background. Isn't that so pretty? Thank you so much, Nancy. Beautiful. Then we have Debbie Peters. This was one of our um, card kits. And then she put just some DSP in the center of this. This is pre-printed. I thought this was so pretty, right? Thank you so much, Deb. Mary Stroman, mm, gorgeous card. Love the layout. Um, again, a very simple card with some strips of designer paper on it, but it's so, so beautiful. Then we have Debbie Lindauer. Yeah, this was really neat. A very neat card. Thank you so much. Your thoughtfulness. You guys are the best, for sure. If life gives you lemons, I love this. This is one of those um, ephemera kits, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was. Chuck them right back. It says, if life gives you lemons, chuck them right back. This is from Debbie Lindauer. Very, very pretty. And this is from Deb Sendlinger. This is a thinking of you card. Sympathy card, very pretty. Love the color combination. And this one, oh, this is a really pretty one too, you guys. This is from Christine Andrade. I love this. I love everything about it. It's a really good sympathy card because this is kind of misty and, you know, kind of kind of maybe like a dreary day. It just is a good use of the designer paper for a beautiful card. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Zoom closer, please. I can't zoom my camera. I really can't. Sorry. Zooming is dangerous. You don't want to touch buttons on there because you could shut everything down for sure. But yeah, if you um, watch this on a different device, you'll be able to have a bigger screen. You can also, I know like on my iPad, I can take and spread my fingers apart and make it get closer. So you can definitely try that. All right, you guys, I'm going to save the rest of these for next time. I will be live again on... June 11th, um, if not sooner. We'll see what I can, I, I'm not gonna promise anything. I would love to come on here and be live more because this is my fun. This is the fun that I have, <laughs> is being with you guys, right? But I think we're gonna be pretty busy the next couple weeks. And gosh, then I'm supposed to be going to San Diego for this wedding. I don't even know how we're gonna be able to leave with all the things. I hope they get a garage tore down and I don't know. Yeah, all the things. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much. Um, I so appreciate all your prayers, all your well wishes, all your encouraging comments. I just can't thank you enough because I know when something happens, I'm not alone, right? I've got all of you guys in my corner rooting for us and um, sending those prayers and well wishes our way. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And uh, please let me know if there's any way that I can help you with anything. We do have new catalogs that just came out at the beginning of May. If you need a Stampin' Up! catalog, I would be happy to mail one to you. You can pop me an email at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. I'm just reading all through all your messages. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, these are the cards. These will be posted on my blog. I can't guarantee I'm going to get them there tonight. But I will have these posted on my blog with the dimensions. And, of course, complete ingredient list. If you forgot the name of the stamp set or the colors that I use, the name of the ribbon, it'll all be there for you in the shopping list. And, of course, you can click right on the product in the shopping list, and it'll take you right over to my Stampin' Up! store. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Debbie. You guys, Margie, so sweet. So sweet of all of you. Have yourselves a great week, and I hope to see you 
at least next Sunday, if not before. Good night.